I, I do remember that him tackling some stuff when I was, I watched him all the time with my sister and we grew up, loved him so much and just him putting his sneakers on and the sweater and I just looked forward to the whole thing and in the documentary you go, oh he thought about it, he did that on purpose because that set the tone for the show and the speed yes. of the show. It's yes. like, no, I'm gonna take my time. I'm yes. gonna put my, and it set the tempo of the show uh, and it was just so friendly but then he, he talked about stuff that was adult stuff to, to children, he talked about divorce. Hard things. Hard things, absolutely. Hard uh, things. The, he talked about uh, war. Um, uh, death. Death. Uh, divorce. Uh, uh, assassination yes. was in the thing. That was, was just, a, that was a part of the documentary as well. Just, uh, I, yes. Explain, uh, what is this picture here, this photo here, do you, do you have a story for this one? That is the, the policeman on the on the program, yep. uh, Officer Clemens, That's right. and he came by on a hot day and Fred was out uh, soaking his feet in a little kitty tub, kitty pool, yeah. and he had, he had the hose and he was just putting in, in, water in, and he said this to Francois, come, it's a hot day, sit down with me and get your feet cool, and he said, oh, I don't, I, d I didn't bring a towel or anything. You can use my towel. Yeah. And um, at that time in history, uh, white people didn't want African Americans in their swimming pools. Yeah. And so they were putting acids in, <coughs> pouring acid and all kinds of bad things in to keep them out. And Fred knew about that. Th this was having to do with that. And it bothered him, and he yes. said, I'm gonna, I want to yes. do something about this. Yes. So he invited the officer on the show to come in, and, and their feet were together in yes, the pool. Yes, exactly. And then he said, you can use my tongue, he dried his feet off. And then it's a very basic Christian uh, Thing to right do. as yeah. well. It, it's just, you, you can't stop crying during this time. I feel so great watching this documentary. You just feel like, yeah, we should be nicer to each other, and this is a smarter way to, to do all of this. Uh, him testifying against some senator that was trying to, to stop the funding to PBS, to, to public television, and he was a tough-looking guy, and his, his face senator was... Senator Pastore. Yeah, man, tough face on him, like, mean face, and he was like, <laughs> no one's getting this $20 million, and that's it, it's over, and they go, but one more person would like to talk to you, and that's Fred Rogers, and he talked to him, he said, well, I sing a song on my show that says, uh, you know, you should be proud to be who you are, and you are who you are, and... And you saw this mean face turn from mean to <laughs> kind of like happy. <laughs> and he goes, you just got yourself $20 million. <laughs> right there, and everyone clapped. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I wanted, uh, let's take a look at a clip from Won't You Be My Neighbor, now playing in select theaters. A little boy came up to him and said, Mr. Rogers, how did you get out? And so he talked to the little boy and explained what television was all about. And the little boy's just taking it all in, going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he, when Fred finished, he said, the little boy said, how are you going to get back in? I'm going to write this down for here. See what this is? Uh, that means we love you. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, that's wonderful. <laughs> uh, this is Joanne Rogers, everybody. Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.